Controlling LED brightness with Arduino is fun and easy. If you are a beginner, you're going to like it. You don't need any programming or electronic skills. I will guide you step by step from wiring the components on a breadboard using the Arduino Uno to writing the code in the Arduino IDE. Let's get started. Here is what you will need for this project. An Arduino Uno microcontroller, a 5mm LED, the color you have, a 220 ohm resistor, and a push button switch. Let's begin with the LED. I have a blue one, but you can use any color that you have. The longest pin is the positive side, and the shortest one is the negative side of the LED. Place the LED on the breadboard, the negative side closest to the Arduino. Use the 220 ohm resistor. We need to use a resistor to limit the current going through the LED so as not to burn it. Place one of the lead of the resistor on the positive side of the LED. The other lead of the resistor in a free row on the board like so. Connect the negative side of the LED to the ground pin on the Arduino. The ground pin is marked GND on the Arduino. Now connect this lead of the resistor to pin 9 on the Arduino. Pin 9 is a PWM pin that will allow us to control the brightness of the LED. And now it's time to look at how to do it with some code. First, let's open the Arduino IDE. And if you don't have the Arduino IDE installed on your computer, just go to Google and search Arduino IDE. Click on the link and you can get the Arduino IDE. Here is version two, it's the version I will be using. And you can download the, um, the install for your computer. Mine, I have uh, Windows 10 uh, version 64 bits. So go again to Arduino IDE and you can have some code here. If you, if you have used before Ardu the Arduino IDE, you, there will be code showing here. Just open a new sketch and it will open an empty sketch. Now the first thing is to make sure that you have the right board selected. Uh, you must see the Arduino you know, board selected here in that menu. The next thing is to make sure that you have the good serial port selected. In my case, my Arduino you know, is connected to the country port. So it is selected here in my case. So make sure you have selected the right port where your uh, Arduino you know, is connected to. Now, the first thing we have to do is define our blue LED. So let's use the define blue LED, which is connected to pin 9 on the Arduino. Now we have to define it as an output because we will be sending signal to the blue LED. So we use the pin mode function in Arduino and we will define the blue LED as an output so we can send its signal. So let's try it out by using the analog write function. We will write to the blue LED the value of 10. So the blue LED is connected to a PWM pin on the Arduino, which is pin 9 in that case, which is the PWM pin. And we can write values from 0 to 255 to a PWM pin. So in that case, 10 means it will be a low brightness for LED. So let's try it out first. Let's check if the, the code is right. The code is right. Let's uh, try to upload the code on the Arduino. No. 
and we will see that the brightness at 10 is like so. So let's add a delay of 3 seconds, which is 3000 milliseconds. And let's write again. But I'm going to copy that. Let's write to the blue LED again. And this time we will write the value, the maximum value, which is 255, which corresponds to a high brightness. Let's upload the code. And you will see it will go from low brightness and after three seconds to a high brightness, like this. Let's write a function that would make the LED go from low brightness to high brightness. We would use a for loop function with a variable i starting at zero and stopping at 255, which is the maximum value for PWM pins. We will use the analog write function to write to the blue LED the value of i with a delay of, let's say, 5 milliseconds. So in that loop, the blue LED will go from zero, which is uh, actually turned off, to 255, which is the IS uh, brightness. Let's comment out these lines and call our function into the setup function of Arduino. Let's see if the code is right. Perfect, and let's upload it. And you will see that the LED will go from low brightness to high brightness, like this. It's going somewhat fast. Let's slow it down by adding a delay of 25 milliseconds. And this time it will be slower from low to high brightness. In the same function, let's do the reverse. Let's go from high brightness to low brightness. So we will start at 255 in another loop. We will stop when i reach zero we will decrement the value and we don't change the, the lines inside the for loop we keep the same one uh, and we write the uh, the value to the blue led and we will go from high brightness to low brightness until the led is completely turned off so let's try it out so first from low to high and then it will go from high to low like this until it is completely turned off now let's say we want to repeat that function many times so that the led is a kind of blinking Let's change the delay to five milliseconds so it is fast. And let's write another function that we will call blink brightness. We will do a for loop. Let's say we want it blinked for, let's say, 10 times. And we will call our function that we just wrote low to high brightness like this. And we will call blink brightness in the setup function like that. So what it does is it's calling blink brightness. And blink brightness is calling low to high brightness 10 times. So let's check the code. Code is good. Let's upload it. And we will see that the LED will be kind of blinking from low to high, high to low, 10 times. And we can make it blink faster. Let's define a global variable called speed. Let's see, we define it at two milliseconds. And let's reuse that global variable in the low to high brightness function. And 
let's upload it and you will see that the blinking oh i have a problem in my code oh i forgot equal sign let's check the code it's good let's upload it and you will see that the blinking will be much faster like that can also speed up uh, the speed of the low to high brightness uh, by instead of stepping uh, the variable i one at a time you can step it two at a time like that and decrease it here two at a time you will see that the blinking will be very very fast like this so you can play with uh, the number of steps that uh, you uh, use in the for loop. Now let's add a push button switch to control the blink speed of the LED. This is the switch I'm going to use. It's also called a momentary switch. Place it on the breadboard. Make sure it is placed across this divider on the motherboard, otherwise the switch will not work. Disconnect the LED from the ground pin on the Arduino and connect it to the blue ground line on the breadboard. Connect the ground line of the breadboard to the ground pin on the Arduino. This blue line is now the ground on the breadboard. Connect one side of the switch to the ground line. And connect the other side of the switch to pin 2 on the Arduino. Like this. Now let's write some code. First, we have to define switch, which is connected to pin 2 on the Arduino. In the setup function, we have to specify the pin mode of the switch, which will be in that case input pull up. Input means that we are going to read data from the switch, and pull up means that the signal will be I by default. So when we press the switch, we will receive a low signal. Let's write the function to read the switch. Switch. Now we would use the digital read function of Arduino to read the switch. And if we receive a low signal, this means that the button of the switch has been pressed. We have to add a delay of 50 milliseconds. It's important because since the uh, switch is a mechanic mechanical device, we have to wait 50 milliseconds because when we press the switch, we, you will receive several low signal because the connection between uh, the mechanical device is not perfect. So this delay is important to receive one low signal. Now, if speed is one, we will switch to a speed of five milliseconds. Else, meaning if the speed is already five, we will switch to a speed of one milliseconds. So let's change here it's important it's a constant we have to uh, to have a variable that we can change so we have to remove the const uh, directive and let's default at a speed of one millisecond and let's read the switch inside our for loop in the low to high brightness function so after the analog write, we will read the switch in both loops. 
so that when we are blinking the, the LED, the LED, we will read the switch and change the speed. So we will toggle between speed of one millisecond and five millisecond. Let's check the code. It's good, let's upload it. Now we will see the LED blinking at one millisecond speed. Oops, it's stopping. So let's see what's the problem. It's calling blink brightness. Let's change the uh, the loop to do 1000, 1000 loop. So it will not stop. Let's upload it again. So it's starting at high speed. Let's press the switch. Changing to low speed. So five millisecond interval. Let's press it again. High speed. Low speed. High speed. Low speed. We have seen that controlling the brightness of a LED with Arduino is easy. Easy to wire on the breadboard and easy to code. If you want to learn more about LEDs and Arduino, take a look at my video on Arduino LED animation. The link is in the video description.